Good evening, or good day, or good morning, whatever time you're watching this. Um, I wanted to do a bit more of a niche um, video on my Cube Reaction. It's the, not the Pro, it's the Performance Hybrid. Um, I thought it was the Pro, but it wasn't when I did my last vlog. Um, so I was just going to do a bit more of a, not worrying about Harry Bows or anything this time. I just want to go over it, try and keep it quite brief. Um, in a bit, I'm going to just take out the um, bottom motor sump guard protector and just see how much crap is in there. Because what tends to happen is all the crap off the front wheel, obviously it depends whether you've got a crud catcher, mud hugger, whatever, it still hits your um, battery protector and runs down into where the motor is. And one thing I did notice on this bike, you don't get any of the grease on the terminals or on the battery. So I'm gonna to have to pick some of that up either from Screwfix or um, Machine Mart. But I also wanted to show you, under here, when you get the bike, the bike doesn't, the bottle boss mount bolts. So I've had to pinch two of them off my other bike until now, because otherwise those just holes are open. But what it does, what it does say on the frame is, be careful when you tighten these bolts and make sure they're not too long because what can happen is they can protrude through the plastic cover underneath and damage the battery. Um, a couple of questions I've had from people who have watched the video. It's these are RockShox Recons and they are, just try and multitask, the travel on them is 100mm, but 100mm travel and that's the same as the ones that came off. Well, they're 120, but as I say in my previous vlog, these absolutely weigh a ton. They weigh an absolute, you could uh, physically cause yourself a hernia or a, a mischief with that. Um, the bars and stem, I did say that I changed, I put some rentals on. Rental fat bar, the size, this is try, right, I'll try and Hold that on there. So, try and multitask here. Hold that on there. Measure across. These are 800s. The ones that were on the bike were, I think they're 720. I'm sure they are. Soon have a look. That's there. And hold it there. Uh, seven, 720. Um, there's the saddle that came out. Uh, what else did I do? Oh, yeah. This is. That's. Before I had, I think you can see it, I'll put that there. There's a bit of a gap, and I was a bit concerned about where the water comes off the back wheel, and it'll hit that and just trickle down into there. And like, just there, there's like a bit of a gap. These things, these, um, these just pull out. They're very strange. They, you don't need much for You can physically put your finger on that and push it in, and it'll drop right into the bottom of the motor sump guard. And also, as I've said before, this is just, hmm, I'm not impressed with that. But as I said, it's a very good bike. So what I've done is I've cut a couple of pieces of short duct tape. So in a moment, I'll take the sump guard off the bottom and I'll put these back on in a minute. So it just creates a nice seal. Um, when I found the shop, which was Leisure Wheels, I did say, um, is it a 85 newton metre? Has it been upgraded? And I've since reading the small print on the um, website of Leisure Wheels. It's a Bosch 3 generation motor with 65 newton metres. But you have got a 500 watt hour battery, which is this big badger here. So you ain't gonna use a full, that's, I reckon I can get quite a good distance out of it. Um, low Newton meters and a big battery. It's just, it's just an all day epic ride. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put the battery in now, grab the sump, the battery cover and we'll uh, just put it on my GoPro chest mount and have a watch. Okay, I've got the bike upside down now, the Cube Reaction 2021. Um, Always when you put it upside down, always um, put something just to prop up so the Purion display doesn't get damaged. So 
um, I've just rested it on um, a battery, a spare battery that I've got. Um, so we've got fixing here, and we have two fixings here. And what you'll find is all the crap comes down when you're riding off the front wheel and off the back wheel. I've taken the tape off now, but as you can see, there's a gap here. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna quickly remove it and we'll have a look inside. See how much crap and mud has got in there from the miles I've been doing. Well, that's not too bad looking at it. There's a bit of crap in there. I'm not sure if you can see, I'll hold it back on the camera. It was only that one bolt. You don't need to undo these two. Uh, uh, you don't need to undo them two there, so that's good. So I'll just rejig those back up. It's like a little lip here, so that physically just wraps all the way around. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give that a wipe out. Doesn't look too bad, to be fair. I don't know what this little, um, I'm not sure if you can see here, well, that little pipe is whether that if water does get in it comes out but you've got you've got all your electrical connections here so but it's looking pretty clean so what i'm going to do is i have got a dustpan a brush from a dustpan uh try and get it in line just give that a bit of a wipe over give that give that um a bit of a clean out well, I was quite surprised how clean it was. To be fair, I haven't ridden it in all the rubbish. I could ride my um, acoustic bikes. So there you go. That's uh, happy days. I will give it a wipe out and a, a spray with GT85, but it's all pretty clean. I'm impressed with that. Right, nice and clean now. Just sprayed a bit of muck off in there and a bit of wipe out. And we shall attempt to tuck that in there. Try and get it so camera that just tucks in there that looks like it goes into there tucks in and that is back where it should be and that massive long bolt goes into there like that and we're, oh god nearly <laughs> fell over just tighten that back up if it will go in it looks like it's going in very long-winded process. Or is it? Oh, that's it, it's biting there. So give it a bit of a booster for zoo. Trying to wear me GoPro um, harness at the moment. So, that is all back in. Fantastic, back in the mouth. Right, there we have my nice clean cover. I wanted to do this with the bike because it's nice and clean now so you can see it whereas my last view of vlog I did of it it was um very dirty and couldn't really justify seeing it so what I'm going to do now is sorry if the camera's a bit wobbly good thing as well on your battery is press the power button on the side just about there and you can see how many bars of juice you got and again I'm not sure if you can see but I've got to put some, like either Vaseline or something over that just to protect the electrical connections. Now this, getting this into the bike is quite interesting. Hopefully getting, that's it, that's in now. This key is just in there. Come on. I'm trying to line this up, is, there we go, I think it's in. There we go, that clicks in, that pushes in, pull that out, that then, slides into there beautifully. I can highly recommend these bikes. And then you've got, just there, click it in, that's on. I am gonna do, very, very soon, a power hour ride. So, as you can see, where's it gone? <laughs> Trying to get it. Tell you what, there it is. Come back in the mouth. Try and get it this time. I am gonna do a power hour um soon and i'm going to do it on emtb mode so i'm going to fully charge it and go out for an hour and see um vlog it and just see put my heart rate monitor on um and take it from there now, 
Okay, so if you want to change the display, oh, I'll try and do this with this one. If you want to change the um, miles an hour to kilometers, press and hold the minus, and then press the power. And as you can see, top right hand corner, it's gone to kilometers. Press and hold again, it goes back to miles an hour. Um, that's my current range with four bars of battery. That's off, that's eco. So if I went out on eco now, I could go into 37 miles. Um, if I press and hold that, press and hold the minus, and my display will just be eco. If I press and hold again, it'll say that my last trip was 23 miles. If you want to reset that, press and hold minus and plus together, and it'll reset your last trip. Um, total mileage I've done on this bike is 227 since I've had it. Unfortunately, you can't reset that. <laughs> so hopefully this tutorial has been a bit more better for you. Um, like I say, I do love the fact with this bike, um, you can, when you want to oil the bike, you can spin the chain back and uh, drop some oil on there. It's looking a bit more ridden now, not too, um, not too clean, which is good. Um, another thing I did have is, I always put black insulation tape down here, um, as I explained. Um, you get a cover there anyway. Um, I always have the boot, the boot protectors. You can get those off eBay for about one ninety nine. Um, and if you can, get an old ember tube, chop it and slide it on. That will protect the pedal arms on both sides. Um, somebody did ask me, what are those things that you put round your bike? Now, I've got a load of, I've got hundreds of these, loads of um, neoprene, um, like Velcro. So basically I put, I'll normally, in fact, I'll, I'll do it now and then I'll show you. Okay, so there we go. I've put one neoprene on the down tube. So if I have to lift it over anything, like any stars or gates, it's um, fully protected. Even though I've got the insulation tape on these down sections, I always put um, the neoprene on there. So as your feet come round with the, the boots of doom, which I always wear, um, five tens, you can see these have uh, <laughs> had better days, but they just keep going, five tens do. Cannot fault them. Um, also, that's already got um, the bash guard protector on there. Just prolongs the life of your bike and it looks nice. Um, obviously got another one here. And I also have a modified one. So I don't, I'm not sure if you can see, but it goes over the sensor. Um, I had to cut it about there and just wrap it around it. But again, the pedals don't catch it. So if you, if you are pedaling, you start to hear like a tick, 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 you know that you've just got to move it around slightly. And I have stuck on the duct tape. Within about a week, that'll be covered in mud anyway. So um, hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much to all my subscribers. And thank you all guys for um, watching all my videos. I enjoy doing this. Um, I've, one of my previous videos, I was looking at either the Orbea Rise or the Levo SL or what's the other one, the Ease SD. I'm gonna put all their Newton meters and what our batteries in at the end of this video. But um, for 2,100 pounds, I just can't grumble with it and it's, the type of trails I ride, which is cross country mainly, and a bit of like off, off slope stuff. So that is part two. I did call my other video part one, but hopefully just get the final shot and just give us a thumbs up. Hopefully it's a bit more professional. If you want any more reviews or, <coughs> excuse me, if you want any um, advice that I can try and give, um, I will do. Um, I never fit speed boxes to any of my e-bikes. Um, I just, a personal thing, I don't agree with it. One, it, one, it validates the warranty. Two, um, you just don't get as good an exercise, I don't think, because I enjoy pedaling up the hills on this um, hill muncher, <laughs> I should call it. But um, no, I just, I just, some people do, some people don't. I'm just one of the people that don't. So anyway, back to it. Um, give us a thumbs up. Any comments, leave them below. And don't forget to like, subscribe and share. And thank you all very much again for subscribing and watching my my boring drivel that I love uh, doing on about. Take care. Hasta pronto. Ciao.